Ken Whiting here with Paddle TV and today we're going to talk about helmets on the river. We're actually right now I'm on the Petawawa River. We're doing a six day trip and there's a, some really nice white water in this section. There's a lot of class one, two, long, just moving water and there's a handful of class three and fours. Great variety, great variety. So this shoot we're doing right now is part of the Paddle Tales uh, series and there's a link in the description box down below that you can check out. One of the decisions that we've had to make throughout the trip is do I wear a helmet for this rapid or not? And you know, it's a good question because it's not as concrete as a PFD. A PFD, it's really as simple as wear it. If you're on the water, just wear it. That's that's the rule of thumb even if you're on flat water in a raft like this and you could say what well, the chances of flipping are nil well yeah they are nil but the chances hey we're i'm fishing from this thing and uh, i'm fishing for musky if i catch a big mus musky and i'm leaning over and something could go grievously wrong you just never know uh it just makes sense to wear the life jacket it also life jackets these days are this is where my sunscreen is and lip lip stuff and my phone and so it's it's easy access there's kind of no reason not to wear a life jacket the helmet on the other hand it's not as concrete at least it isn't for for most people and you know we're in a raft we have fishing kayaks here everybody else we've seen is in tandem canoes and a lot of people aren't they're portaging most of the rapids they don't even have helmets it's not even a consideration for backcountry canoers yeah a lot of times it's just not even on their radar to have a helmet so is it right or wrong to run any kind of white water with uh, without a helmet for me i have 30 years of white water experience and i will look at a rapid and look at what's coming up and, and make a decision. If it's class one, um, moving water, I'm in a raft or a fishing kayak, and I just have the confidence and the experience to know I don't need to. You know, I'll make a decision I don't need to, and that's okay. Some people might not agree with it. Just always wear a helmet, and that's fine. It's that's a great rule to have. It's not. There's nothing wrong with that. But uh, there's also if you have the experience. There's also nothing wrong with making uh, a judgment call. If you don't have the experience to make a really educated judgment call like that, then just like a life jacket, it just makes sense to wear it. If you don't know what the, the potential hazards are, the, you know, if you don't know all the possibilities of what can happen in there, then why wouldn't you wear a helmet? It's very similar to riding a bike these days. You know, when I was a kid, no one rode, had helmets. Now. No one doesn't ride a bike without a helmet. Even though you might not have fallen, you're just on very smooth surfaces. You're not doing mountain biking. You're just riding a bike. Why? Because why not? Why not protect your head? Your head is, well, it's pretty, it's, for most people, it's the most valuable part of their body. Um, so it just makes sense to protect it. And if you don't know have the experience to really make an educated judgment call about the risks of even class one water wear a helmet if you have the experience you know make that uh, judgment call and just err on the conservative side if in doubt wear your safety gear if just like anything in white water if in doubt scout you know in moving water there's not a lot of room for error when things go wrong in, wa in moving water, things have the potential of going very wrong. So having a conservative attitude and approach to all your safety gear and all your decisions is just the, the prudent thing to do. Well, that's enough from me about the topic of helmets. I'm Ken Whiting for Paddle TV. And once again, check out the Paddle Tales episode from the Petawawa River. We're catching musky, we're running rapids. It's, uh, it's an amazing, uh, amazing section of river, amazing multi-day trip. Um, if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to Paddle TV if you haven't already, and I'll see you again for some more tips and tricks. You may not want to actually watch this Paddle Tales episode because you're going to see Turtle Man. It's very, a little disturbing. 
Uh, I'm not going to elaborate. You'll have to watch the episode to see what I mean, but I don't recommend you watch the episode because it's very disturbing.